always said that my teeth were childish. Look how small they look. Um, but yeah, so the video that I'll upload, you guys will just see the process of how I'm going to go about fixing my teeth. <laughs> Got to bag and fix my teeth. Okay, so y'all, here's my teeth that I took a picture of the x-ray. And as y'all can see, like, right there, I'm missing a tooth that I didn't even know didn't grow back or didn't come i don't know so yeah i guess it never came in or whatever and then i got like one tooth that's like sideways i think on this side and then my little three wisdom teeth i'm about to get pulled so yeah that's that's the whole thing your favorite youtuber now i'm back with another video back with another episode of bubble talks and y'all know how this thing goes but before we get into this video make sure if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button that like button comment below after and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another upload from your girl and we about to jump straight into this so firstly before we even get started I just got off and oh my gosh, I've been having my waist trainer on all day. And that thing had to go. But anyways, as y'all can tell by the title and the little um clip that I had in the beginning of the video, I was gonna start telling y'all about the procedures and the little week or a couple of weeks that I have ahead of me. Y'all, I gotta get my teeth done. <gasps> I've got to get my teeth done. Okay, so let me tell y'all a little story and let me tell y'all what's about to go down. So yesterday I went to the dentist for the first time in like two years. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me, okay? I still brush every day and all that. Teeth is cool, but I thought I needed to go ahead and get back in there because I'm an adult. I have to be I have to be adultish, you know? And the reason why I haven't been in so long is because um, I think when, like, you know, most jobs don't really have benefits. And then when they did have them, then I didn't really sign up for them. Why? I don't know. I just didn't. But the job I'm in now does offer dental. So I went ahead and signed up for it this year. And let me tell you, dental insurance is lovely. And I didn't know how good it was until I got it. But anyway, so... I went to the dentist yesterday and they in there, they seen me or whatever. And the first thing that they told me, or the first thing that they asked me was, have I ever thought about correcting my bite? Um, I was like, yeah, it's like, that's the whole point of really me really coming in. I mean that and to get a, you know, just a general checkup and stuff. But I was going to ask about Invisalign anyways, because when I was young, I did want braces, couldn't get them. So I just let that dream go. And like I told them, I always knew something was wrong with my teeth. Like nothing too bad. I mean, you know, and my teeth not messed up. Like they're not messed up, but I know that they could be better. So the dentist comes in, looks at my mouth, tells me all these things. And like I told y'all, I've always knew something was wrong with my mouth. But the things that he told me is wrong with my mouth. I didn't think that was what was wrong with my mouth. So, like y'all seen on the x-rays, apparently I got a tooth missing that I didn't even know about. I guess it either didn't grow in or um, it never came back when it fell out. I don't know. Barry don't know. So, and then I got a sideways tooth. I got to take my three wisdom teeth out next Thursday and just start the process of getting the Invisalign. So, when he told me, I'm like... Who did I get this from? Because Pops, he got some pretty teeth. So this had to be for my mom and them side. But anyways, um, he gets to telling me everything. He was like, don't take this wrong. But you have something called a, um, I think he said crossbite or inverted bite. Something like that. And he was like, uh, don't take it wrong. A lot of people have it. Sometimes it's genetic, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you know, I'm not offended. Don't get me wrong. I'm a very, very confident girl. Just like I told him, I've never had a problem with my smile. I, I'll smile on your face all day and have no problem with it. But at the end of the day, if your teeth can be corrected, wouldn't you want to correct your teeth? 
yes so that's what i'm doing um the plan for that is i want to um I want to record a before and after video from before I go get my wisdom teeth pulled and after I get them pulled. And I want to like make videos over the course of me wearing the Invisalign. He told me that I would probably be wearing it for like one year if I do everything right and keep them on the way I'm supposed to. So it should only be a year. And um, I want to like post, you know, like the differences and stuff and see how that goes. And yeah, that's really about it with my dental issues um what else did i want to tell y'all about oh y'all let me tell y'all something sad so y'all don't remember when i told y'all that i went to go get my first emergency the other day like for the first time because i finally built up the courage to go anyways that emergency that i went to go get like when she came in the reason she came in is because she was lethargic and barely eating not want to drink i think she only wants to drink like at the toilet and stuff like that and um the owners knew that something was wrong so when they brought her in though i gave her some food just to see if she eat and she tore it up y'all so i'm thinking that she was okay i come back two three days later and i got a euthanasia room walk in and it's her and i'm like what happened i thought i thought everything was okay and he was just looking at me he was like no he said they found out it was cancer and it was progressing quickly and she was just her health just kept on declining and he decided to put her out of her misery because he could tell that she just wasn't happy which i could tell too like i mean i don't know how she was in the beginning but as a lab a seven-year-old lab for her not to be crazy and hyper then you can definitely tell something was wrong so i had to put her to sleep or i didn't have to put her to sleep y'all know how that go i helped put her to sleep or whatever and it was really sad i cried but as I always tell y'all, y'all know I'm a crybaby and stuff, but I've been doing really good with my euthanasia rooms. Like, compared to my first euthanasia room, why I just had to go step by myself and cry my eyes out and then go home and cry. Um, now I'm learning, like, I'm not emotionless, of course, emotionless, of course, but, you know, I have to be professional to a certain extent. So, um, I've learned to kind of maneuver that i mean i still tear up a little bit but i don't full-on cry like i used to used to hurt i mean it still hurts my feelings but you know and yeah that's all that's been going on at work it's not been too much um oh let me tell y'all about my son so i think the last video i posted was about me or wanting to ride the bus and being a big boy do y'all know that same, that very same day that I recorded that video and told y'all about that? They let my five-year-old son off the bus by himself and walk all the way home. Now, a lot of people may not see no problems with that, but I'm, I'm different. First of all, where they let him off at is in like in front of the office of our apartments. We live in the very back of them apartments. And it's like four or five buildings in between where we live. So you telling me you gonna let a five year old child off the bus by himself and you didn't see nobody? And the reason why I went nobody down there was because they told me a wrong time. When I first dropped him off that morning, they told me that the bus would be there around three thirty ish, three forty ish because they have to do two different stops and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, cool. I left the laundromat that day about. 3 15 ish and when i went past the bus stop i didn't see nobody so i'm like okay cool i got time to run home real quick and do whatever i had to do and come back y'all know when i walked through the house my child was already in there hey mama i said amir how did you get here son i walked you walked i said what do you mean you walked you walked up the steps i was like so what the bus like pulled in front of our apartment and let you off right there he like no i walked from down there what do you mean you walk from down there son i said come on we're we gonna go for a drive you gotta tell me where they let you off at so we we goes down there he was like this is where they let him off at are you kidding do y'all know how crazy i went i called and called and called the school nobody answered um every time i called it was either they was putting me on hold or hanging up on me so then i finally got a hold of somebody and she's all you know 
oh, when I see your concern and the bus driver isn't supposed to do that. No, they're not supposed to do that because when I talked to the lady, at first she told me if there's no adult around that the child recognizes, which is still kind of not safe because even if the child recognizes them, what if I don't want that person going, I mean, what if I don't want my child going with that person, you know? But if, if there's no adult around, then um, they won't let the child off the bus and they'll bring it back to school. So if you see no adult around at all, what made you think that it was okay to let him off the bus by himself? And don't get me wrong, I was real proud of my baby. He was so happy. He's He was proud of himself. He said, I watch for the cars and everything, mama. Thank God my baby is smart enough to get home and know how to get home if needed. But five years old? Mm, no, ma'am. Mm, no, ma'am. I don't like that. I was scared my little my little nerves was tore up and i finally went up to the school and we apologize and we've got different brush drivers because we're still getting this thing under um under wraps and stuff y'all been in school about two three weeks now how y'all still ain't got no bus driver i'm let me come drive the bus since y'all don't have no bus driver or y'all can't y'all don't know how to um deal with with five-year-old kids and younger and and just letting them off the bus at any time i don't like that I don't like that at all. But anyways, my baby was safe. He made it home. That's all that matters. And yeah. Um, on to the next. So y'all know looking lavish is back open. If you don't know what looking lavish is, you can either go through these videos. My past videos, y'all can follow my um business Instagram here. And I do offer shipping. But y'all knew that. And that's really about it though. So we finna get up out of here. I'm about to go home and do what I do. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that like button, comment below after, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another upload from your girl. And till next time.